All right, this should be a fun one. We have Bion in the top right of Hecate. And in the bottom left, we have Trigger. Uh, Trigger, you know, uh, Sankibes, Protoss, in NA. Very defensive macro oriented. Really enjoy his style. One of my favorite players to watch right now. Kind of uh, a very similar to stats. Think about stats. Uh, that's kind of how he plays. So I'm excited to see that here against uh, Bion because, you know, Bion's a great Terran. He's kind of aggressive. He doesn't feel like he's super aggressive like he used to be, but he's still pretty aggressive. Uh, but Hero really was like doing bad attacks, bad attacks. So, you know, that's, I want to see someone who's not going to do that. I think about stats all the time as well. He's great. One of my favorite players ever. So, mm, I'm going to be back in just one second, guys. I actually put tea on to boil when I ran upstairs just to keep my voice uh, going. So uh, I'll let the silence of Mapu's observing do this for you for a moment. So Bion, once again here, uh, is going for the command center in the main base. You don't need to do that against Trigger if you know his style well. Very rare he mixes in any sort of uh, early attacking or pressure. I mean, obviously here he's sending an Adept across, but that's not something you can't deal with normally. Starport on the way. Maybe a little mind drop coming up like we saw from him before against Hero. We have the twilight coming up as well as the uh, gateway back here for trigger. So it looks like it's going to be probably two gate blank robo is my guess. He likes uh, one gate or two gate blank. Very, very fast thirds for trigger generally. See if he's able to block this first medevac. That's probably the most important thing, right? <clears throat> All right, here comes that mind drop. Now, Trigger doesn't have anything out on the map, so his units are all in kind of defensive positions already. Oh, look at the forge. Isn't that interesting? That's not what I expected to see at all here. A forge? Huh. Forge into Nexus. All right, Medivac comes in. We'll have to turn around. Trigger spotting it. Very good, very good for him. Liberator on the way as well for some additional harassment. I'm kind of excited about this quick forge. Like, that that wasn't really what I was thinking we were going to see. Like, I thought for sure, like, I, I was finding odd that there was no robo or anything, but that's cool. Getting that very quick plus one. I imagine he's still going to go forge very quickly here as well. I mean, uh, robo very quickly here as well. There it is. There it is. But after the third, after plus one. So definitely a very different build here than what I'm used to, especially from, from Trigger of all people. But I like it. I like seeing him try some new stuff. <clears throat> oh no! 
Oof. Six kills. Very, very good. Now, eight kills. Oh, shit. Beyond. Ah, 11 kills. No. No. We're falling apart. Uh, that's, that's pretty painful. I was about to say with the six kills, I'm like, but you know what? He killed all those Marines in that tank. I think he's, he's still fine here, but now we're up to 11 kills and it's, it's a bit more questionable now, right? Like that, that was some pretty significant damage to his economy, unfortunately. Okay. Still gets two, man. Very nice. Very nice from beyond. Gonna get that observer down there, clean that up. Okay, already. Never mind. I guess he doesn't have an armory. I was wondering why he wasn't moving back towards that. So, beyond getting his third, still some pressure from Trigger. Now, this is still playable from Trigger, I think. He did kill a fair amount of units, so, like, he has time to regain his probes. Uh, and then start his macro because there won't be as many units that Beyond has saved up. If he hadn't moved out... Well, the thing is, right, like anything changes, everything changes in a way. If he hadn't moved out with the Marines and tank, maybe those stalkers were in a better position and he takes less damage and his attention isn't isn't skewed away from, from the battle, right? So there's like, there's a lot of things that could happen. Uh, but yeah, I think Beyond so far has done a very reasonable job. But obviously he needs to play safe here. Look at this, adding five gates, charge, plus one armor, immortal. I wonder if he's setting up an attack. Maybe this is why he got the fast forge, is for a 1-1 one -one timing. That would be fascinating. That would be fascinating. Now, he throws a gate down here. It's an okay place to make, like, some zealots for harassment, but not, <coughs> excuse me, not really a reinforced rally place. Probably wants to get a prism if he's going to actually attack. It looks like he's going to attack. It could be an army crush build as well, right? Like, you don't always have to attack Terran in StarCraft 2. Like, if you see that they're really lining up for an attack, if you just go, like, a mortal charge, basically, and swamp them, you have more units than they expect, and you just destroy their army, that actually gets you really far ahead in PvT. But you do have to kill the army. 1-1 One -one combat shield's about to finish here for Bion. Okay, let's see it. Dude, not bad, not bad. Ugh, that, look at that. The force field actually ends up screwing him there. That's too bad. Ugh. Some good mine hits there from Bion. He is losing his tanks, getting on top of him here with these zealots. An interesting try. So it did seem like a little bit of an army crush, but the force field was very, very, very bad. A guardian shield there, a trillion percent better. The fact that he had to move around the force field to try to get surface area... Brutal. Absolutely brutal. So Dark Shrine on the way here. Sending some zealots around. Big roaming army for Beyond at the bottom. Ooh. Painful, man. Ah, dude. Ah, I feel like Trigger is just barely doing these attacks a little bit wrong. You know, all the games I've seen of Trigger, he plays like a very uh, defensive, like macro-based approach. It seems like a more aggressive, active approach. Not that he's doing it like super poorly, but it definitely feels like there was a couple mistakes. And you can see now, look at this. Look at this, guys. Not bad, especially if he does a little bit of focus fire there. I like it. Man, very well done. Now, Dark Shrine going to finish up. Trigger up by, like, a lot of workers. What is this? 21 workers up. His army supply obviously a little bit smaller. There's no scans is what Mapu is showing us right now. So, DTs 
like DTs on harassment or even like putting a DT on the army could be very good right now. Let's see if he actually makes any DTs. By the way, both sides on 1-1, one, one, but plus two on the way for a trigger. So Bion is almost like a little all in -y here, isn't he? Wow, that is a lot of mines. Tries to pull back against him, actually does pull back against him. DT in that mineral line at the natural, but he sends two up into the main as well. Trigger gonna lose his fourth, but I don't know that it's the end of the world. Look at the DTs in the main base, doing a great job. He actually charges down now. Woo, that's a lot of mine hits. Holy crap. Very interesting game. I am digging this one. I am digging this one. Look at how Byun is just not starting more upgrades. He's not starting more SCVs. He's pretty content to just lay the pressure on. So if you're laying the pressure on like this, like if you can identify that this is what your opponent is doing, all you have to do is like kill one or two more armies and you win the game, right? Here, you see like a little bit of harassment, like a little group going off to the side. You don't want Byun to get any like pretty efficient uh, engagements because he's just trying to mass up and be able to kill you. And there's no real splash damage. This is just charge, right? Charge a mortal blank. I don't know if that's a big enough army for Beyond. Well, maybe if you run all your charge lots through mines, maybe it becomes a big enough army. Uh, they are pretty badly damaged. He blinks forward with those stalkers, but unable to get continual hits. You can see how the results keep recharging, but not having a good engage here uh, another kind of questionable force field there for trigger so right now it really looks to me like beyond is going to be able to take this one thing i want to say is i think if trigger played the same way the next game and just did it slightly better he could win i think overall like strategically not a bad approach uh, it felt like a lot of the fights were like kind of bungled, but then still were kind of close for him. And maybe just like remove his F key, only use guardian shield. Uh, but yeah, that's going to probably be game here. GG. And Beyond going to take down trigger in game one. Not a bad game. Not a bad game. Enjoyed that one. Forget force field bro play Templar. Force fields can be good. I think the sentry is uh, just subscribe. a little underrated right now, but um, like, if he just uses Guardian Shield instead of that one Force Shield and that one Engage, it would have gone so much better. All right, guys. Here we go. Thanks for the sub, by the way. Uh, this is going to be game number two. Trigger versus Byun. And it starts now. All right, here we go. Beyond in the bottom left. Top right, we have Trigger. Alcyon is going to be our map. Elder Scrolls admin just resubscribed for 31 months. Where is Rusty? <laughs> Arto loose. He's sleeping, man. He's sleeping. It's 10.30 p.m. here. Thank you, Elder Scrolls admin. I really think Trigger can do it. He just needs to, to 
tidy up his place slightly. And that was a really interesting build with the fast forge. I've never seen that, but like getting one, one pretty quickly blink, you know, charge some immortals, some sentries really seems like a reasonable build. I liked it. Novak2 just subscribed. Novak2, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Guys, I'm just, uh, you know, enjoying some, uh, using some halls, drinking some tea with honey, trying to keep my voice lubed up as I'm casting ASL in like 11 hours or something with Tasteless. Less than 11 hours. Tunga 111 cheered. X300 Polo Arti. Quick tax filing question. I volunteer doing magic shows at the Center for Mentally Disabled Children and I assume you get a similar charity write-off for casting StarCraft 2 so I'm wondering how you file. <laughs> do you Christ. write off per hour or per viewer? 1,099? Also do you write off more for Protoss players? Damn. Tunger. With the zingers in here. Get wrecked both StarCraft 2 fans and Protoss players. <clears throat> All right, probe coming up to scout. We see the command center being built. We see the factory being built. Same thing that Beyond's been doing all day here. I've seen a lot of Beyond uh, TVPs at this point. Pugwash just subscribed. Ken Pugwash. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it, man. So Twilight on the way. Let's let's pay close attention to Trigger's build. He adds the second gate. Is he gonna go forge with this as well in a minute? Oh, popping up here. A little bit annoying. Loses a probe. He's gonna lose two. He might even you know what? He's gonna lose three probes, I think. No, that was good micro. Loses track of where that other probe is. So there's number two. Can he actually finish this one before the stalker goes? Okay, it does end up getting three. I, I, I doubted myself for a moment. I don't know why I ever do. I'm always fucking right about everything. It's crazy. Uh, but, yeah, it looks like he's going to shade in here, get a little bit of a scout, but not going to be able to pick up any kills. Guys, guys I have a quick question. Do green tea bags go bad, like lifting green tea? Damn. Guys, we will play that. Uh, we'll play that again afterwards. I know that it's hidden right now. Sorry. They do not go bad. Okay, because I, I think that this is maybe slightly stale. I've had a... My wife, like, emptied a ton of green tea bags into, like, a Tupperware bin, like, two years ago, like, when we moved here. And I've been working off the same pile, but it feel doesn't taste as good this time. fatigue okay anyways uh triggered the defense against the drop pretty reasonably well not too many probes going down looks like we have a raven going out into the map for a bit of harassment as well third command center gets started <coughs> excuse me Tea jackasses are showing up. Guys, uh, you all know Lipton is the best tea, right? Lipton green tea bags, the best. 
All right, little mine drop being boosted in here. Good pullback, good pullback. Snipe some medevac. This nice micro there from beyond, just kind of stalling him out a little bit. Can't spend too long doing that, of course. Third Nexus is up, getting into charge, getting into Colossus tech. No forge this time. So very different game, more like what we normally see from him. So, yeah, has the Raven just kind of sitting, waiting for some more uh, windows to go in for a little bit of harassment. We'll see when it, or where he finds that. Byun getting his third base set up. Getting those SCVs sent down there. Trigger waiting for his Thermal Lance as well as Charge. Adding those additional gates as well. No upgrades, remember. Stim just about finishing here. Plus one, two-thirds the way done. Right, eBay and Armory coming up. Beyond wanting to continue those upgrades, unlike the previous game. Forge finally here for uh, Trigger. Seems like, I mean, Trigger's just playing his very solid self, right? Like, this is how Trigger normally plays, basically. Uh, he's getting ready for that additional base. That was a nice little stim up to try to stop that pro, but he will start the fourth base, no doubt. Trigger loves getting that fourth base up at a good speed. Zealot going to the side, probably going to check out the other base, uh, you know, the other fourth base location of Byun. Another Zealot being sent down the right side. So getting his scouting done, adding the second robo, adding the second forge before the fourth nexus. I like it. It's like Trigger doesn't feel like he has to optimize. You know what I mean? It's like not these harsh optimizations where you're like, I think a lot of Protoss would have made the fourth Nexus, then gone for the second Forge in the Robo. Here he goes, second Forge Robo, keeps warping units in. And he's just like, that's fine. We can just make a really good army, fight well, take the expansion slightly later and not die. I, I appreciate this type of approach. Shows some belief in himself. You know what I mean? Too many people are heavy optimizers in StarCraft 1 and 2. Where it's like they have to have every little edge or they don't feel like they can play. And it's like, it's stupid. It's stupid. Everyone makes so many fucking mistakes in these games. You know? All right, some Zealots trying to do a run by. And in fact, yeah, they should be able to force a cancel on this. So that's kind of nice. But, I mean, that's a big expenditure to do that as well. Disruptor's coming in. Continuing those upgrades. Add in the gates. Fourth Nexus is uh, a little over halfway done. Very solid from Trigger. Nothing flashy. God, God, guys, I like games like this. I do. This is probably why I enjoy StarCraft so much. I think if your your baseline is you enjoy slow turtley games, then you just love StarCraft. Because if you get a slow turtley game, great. And if you don't, great, because it's exciting suddenly. Whereas here, there's like, in my mind, there's tension building all over the place. I'm like, oh, yes. Oh, his composition is becoming even better right now. That is beautiful. Oh, my God, that is so hot. Now look at this. He's got some defensive structures. He comes down with his splash damage. Look at him zone him out. They're not even gonna fight. I love it when they don't fight. Yes. All right. Now look at this weak little Terran. Oh, he's gonna expand again. Oh, he's adding reactors and misturts. Yes. <laughs> Sick. 
sickest attack. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful move right there. Great disruptor hit. Now, pr proper thing to do here is turn around. Trigger, are you the man? Yes, Artosis, I'm the man. You see that? You see how he starts to engage, starts winning, then turns around? This is how you play StarCraft, guys. Fuck all you rushers out there. All you attacking bimbos. This is how you do it. Look at that. Another Nexus. Just now clearing some rocks so that he can defend everything better. Not to attack better, to defend better. Okay, gonna pull back. Look at this. He's got his zoning uh, disruptors in here. He's gonna zone that side. He's gonna zone this side. He's gonna charge in. Damn, he got one. It's bonus to get one. These are just like more sophisticated force fields for trigger, but if he gets units with them, great. All right, Byun actually does a fantastic job killing that Nexus. But do you know what? Trigger is gonna buy it again. Little drop up into the main base. Warping a few units in here. Has to deal with this, but doesn't want to bring every unit in. Uh, this is a little bit messy. I feel like, uh, you notice how Trigger moved his army to the fourth? Uh, like, I would say over half of it moved to the fourth. A little bit of it came up here to help clear this. This is, these are tough moments, right? He's kind of zoning the middle of the map right now. He's seeing if he can find extra units, right? He's figuring out what's what. Gonna pull back now. There are Vikings chasing his Colossi. He does not have his Stalkers with him. Nice zoning shots once again. Oof, gonna lose a Colossus here. Not the end of the world. Uses the overcharge and it doesn't actually end up helping enough. Dark Shrine on the way. Looks like we're going towards Liberate Range with that fusion core here for Bion. Okay, now Bion is going to snipe this Nexus again. There was not enough vision on the map there for Trigger to stop this. But maybe he can punish, right? Let's see if he can kill a decent amount of army. Wait, is he not going to get the Nexus? That's actually kind of a, kind of surprising. I thought 100% he was going to get that Nexus. Was he just letting it all shoot anywhere? If he just, like, right clicks, I think he gets it easily, right? Now, a warp in of Stalkers here trying to get the Medivacs. Has some Zealots come in. Has more Stalkers come in from the side. But Byun just has too many units unloading. So, has to do the recall. But that means the attack can secondarily go back up to that third base location. And he is going to get the third base, I think. Right? Oh, he overcharges. Ah! No, he's still going to get it. <laughs> Good try. Good try. GG. And Beyond will end up taking out Trigger, but I think we saw some better games there than what we saw from Hero. And I think if you don't agree with that, you have no taste. You probably think that uh, special TTs are better than Lipton. You fool. <laughs>